four most disturbing TVI jackings in history. La 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 la. Four most disturbing TVI jackings in history. For some reason, this is scurring me already. Then the defense, which hadn't put up a sack in 12 quarters. It's just creepy. It. It's creep. Oh, I don't like it. Oh no. Just I'm, I don't like this one, I don't like this one. I'm going to have to watch it though now. Oh, it's not even showing anything. It's just doing an intro. In 12 quarters, finally did oh, I just don't like I don't like it. I didn't like the sound of it. Oh, I'm going to have to watch it though. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have Perhaps to watch it. the most it. popular TV hijacking is the Max Headroom incident. It's yes. Like you've seen it before. I've seen this before. I've seen an image of it. I didn't know what it was though. A man dressed in a suit, sunglasses, and most notably a Max Headroom mask. Max Headroom was a fictional character advertised as the first computer-generated TV presenter. He first appeared- What? How long ago is this? This is basically AI now. So is that AI? Is that not a real person? That? That's AI? What? Max Headroom. Here we go. Max Headroom is a fictional character played by actor- Oh no, bollocks, mate. It's not actually AI. I'm just pretending it's AI. Let's find out what went on. ...in his own movie before the character got his own TV program. Popular back in the mid-80s, it's likely most everyone instantly recognized the mask when on November 22nd, 1987, a sports segment on WGN-TV was abruptly hijacked. This being what appeared on the screens of thousands. Oh, it's the way it pauses like that, mate. Oh, no. Oh! No, mate. No, mate. No, mate. I'd be turning TV off. I'm leaving the house, mate. I'm not staying in that house after that. For all you know, you don't know every everybody's seen it. Do you know what I mean? What if it's just your telly that got hijacked? You wouldn't know, would you? Oh, my God. I'd shit myself, mate. I'd shit myself because I'd be thinking my TV's been hijacked. I wouldn't be thinking the channel's been hijacked. I'd be like, oh, my TV's been hijacked. And I'd probably run out my house, probably. The hijacking lasted a total of 17 seconds before engineers at WGN were able to regain control of the broadcast tower by switching to a backup frequency. However, on that same day, a few hours later, a different station, WTTW, was also hijacked by the same group. And this time, there was audio. Oh, no. Sorry, um, if my headphones have come off, they have come off. I'll get you a hot drink, miss. Oh, he's a freaking nerd. <laughs> 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 right, it's not that bad. Jesus, <laughs> 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 I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> Right through the TV. <laughs> Right, this is what happens when I'm watching me telly. So straight away, it's... Uh, move the chair out the way. Uh, switching music, then... Gun. Then going outside my house, then. Go outside the house. Have a little look round with me gun. And now even decades have passed, with no sign of who's behind the Max Headroom mask. <laughs> Mate, the guy, they may as well come out now. They ain't gonna get in trouble now. They may as well come out, and the people who did it may as well come out and say they did it, and why they did it. On August 19, 1987, during the 4pm edition of KNBC's Channel 4 News, reporter David Horowitz was interrupted by an unidentified man walking into the studio. The man appears in frame armed and hands David oh. a set of papers. He instructs him to read them. And without another option... <laughs> what with his face, mate? What an idiot! Everyone can see your face. Pardon me? What is this? Let me see what it says. Alright. Alright, well, let me read this. Folks, we have, we have someone on the set who's standing here and would like me to read um, to read this uh, this this copy which was just handed to me. You want to tell me your name or not? What is it? It's just, uh, yeah, yeah. Name, face, doesn't give a fuck. And Gary, where are you from? The video was then taken off the air and replaced with a still screen. Oh, uh, no, I, wanna, I kinda wanna know what it said. Monitors in the studio clearly indicated they were no longer on the air, but the reporters desperately tried to convince the man he was still on. He believed them, and continued to let David read. I was warned in 1981 by someone with connections at the CIA to stay off the computers, that they didn't trust people on computers. 
when I began receiving disturbing calls from my parents, which led me to believe that something terrible was going on. I was then forced into a mental hospital in Tallahassee, where I learned that my brother-in-law had been driven insane in the, in the same, what is it? in the same manner that someone was trying to do to me. After minutes of this, David finally finishes reading the statement, at which point the man sets down his weapon and it's revealed that it was only ever an empty BB gun. Police entered the studio and immediately arrested the guy. He was Gary Stolman. He managed to get in the studio as a guest to an employee. His father, Max Stolman, would sometimes work for KMBC as a reporter. Once inside, Gary waited for the channel to go live. He ain't getting work off him anymore. Nice one, mate. Your dad's getting no work off him now. In July of 2007, WJLA, a TV station in Washington... I'm getting really nervous when these start because for some... Like, I don't know why. It just makes me really... Do you want to know something, actually? Right, so when I was a kid, but has your computer ever, like, crashed or, like, blue screen and it'll go, like... Eh. Mate, it used to terrify the life out of me. Like, if my computer blue screen went, like... Eh. I'd like throw my headphones off and run out the room. To be honest with you, I'd probably still get a bit nervous now. Like if my computer right now, blue screen went, Err. well, especially now I'm saying it, if it actually happened right now, mate, I'm leaving the house. Genuinely. You see, was abruptly interrupted. But yeah, what I'm saying is I'm getting nervous before these videos starts because I'm really nervous for the, vi for the video to just go off and then something else comes on. Did from its regular programming. Everything was going as usual. When all of a sudden the screen went black, and without oh, see that that is horrible, mate. I can't watch this. Sorry. Warning: This image up here. Oh no, no, no! I'm sorry. I can't look at that. That is fucking scary. Screen went black, and oh, without warning, this image up oh. here. Viewers' TVs. A close-up, grainy black and white photo of two human heads, one smiling, one not. Viewers watching live were confused and honestly creeped out. The image was unsettling to say the least. It stayed on screen for several seconds with no movement and no sound, just the image. See, what's the motive, mate? What's the motive? Is it just pe like could it? It could be people trolling just to like annoy people, wind people up. Or is there somewhat horrible behind it? Do you know what I mean? That's oh, it scares me, man. Before abruptly disappearing and returning to the station's regular program. I'd get so paranoid about it though if I was witnessing it live, mate. Do you know what? I feel like these days I wouldn't. For some reason, it doesn't seem that scary on a big flat screen TV. But if it was on one of those old box TVs, yeah, for some reason it get dead. It made me dead scared. It made me paranoid. Paranoid's the word. They claimed the image was a still frame from an advertisement for the Oprah Winfrey show that was scheduled to play later on. Basically, they reasoned ah. that their system somehow glitched in showing the still frame. This explanation left people skeptical. Many searched but found no Oprah Winfrey advertisement showing anything resembling the still frame. It's widely believed the explanation was a cover-up for a successful hijacking of the station. Although, if this is the case... I don't know. I don't think the explanation is that crazy. I think it could genuinely be that, to be honest with you. Viewers that had footage of the incident found that after posting them online, they were mysteriously getting taken down. Oh. oh. There are no surviving videos left on the internet today, and so footage of the incident is now being treated as lost media. What? Really? How, how, long, how long ago was this again? The only remaining evidence is this picture of the still frame that was shown. Yeah, but I thought it was just a still frame anyway. Did they show a video? I thought the whole point was it was they showing a still frame. Filming today, making him the first. Ah, my headphones are so loud. You don't know. You don't realize how loud my headphones are. It's making it so much worse for me. Oh, mate, sorry, I'm really struggling to watch this. Sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh. Oh. oh, this is hard, mate. I can't watch this, mate. This is hard to watch. Oh. This is hard to watch, mate. Oh, I might have to turn my volume down a little bit. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, fuck this, mate. Fuck this shit, mate. Let's see if I can watch the whole video without taking my headphones off. I highly doubt I can. Oh! Fuck off, I don't like the music. I hate City, and I hate Liverpool, I hate Liverpool, and Man City. We are late lead scum, we are late lead scum, oh. I can't fucking watch this shit, mate. Thank God it's still bright outside. I can go outside after this in the daylight. Thank God it's not like one in the morning, mate, because I would not be going to sleep after it. Do I be a bitch? I've got to watch it, haven't I? I can't be a fucking bitch. I can't be a pussy. Come on. I've got to watch it. I was literally, I was about to skip through it and just kind of skip through it and see what happens, but I can't do that. That'd be embarrassing if I did that. I've got to sit here and watch the full thing, haven't I? Oh, mate, I really don't like this. I really don't like this. Sorry, I can't watch it. Wow. Oh my god. I can't watch it. If I don't watch the full thing, I'm such a bitch. Ah, oh, what is that? Romney also plans on visiting. Nope, 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 n